nose to maliciously malign. Let's recap last week. Talking about I was gonna get to it. You might have been the king there, but you won't be the king, queen, nor prince over here. It's like finally crack in, you'll never win. I understand, you know, that's what you want. But this is my thing. And if I'm paying you, I need you to give me what I want. Nick Nick has clearly stole the show. You know, and him and Wayne have their situation. Dario, pineapple. All y'all bitches want a moment, and I'm not y'all motherfucking moment. You want to try again? No, you should have minded your business and kept whatever Troy said to you to you. Call these two hoes, tell them what the fuck just happened and ain't doing none of that. Yeah. Mind your business. I'm not. Because at the end of the day, That's when not. you were doing it, you were being messy and nasty and not owning it. Why are you were, Wayne? You have really reached out. But well, we're going to continue to learn what we are so so much the same. This overall experience, I'm so grateful. The little child of me got to finally meet my uncle. So I am putting the finishing touches on what is sure to be a fun night. I feel like Dominique and Troy have a fake friendship. Oh. And I feel like you guys have maliciously maligned me. Honestly and truthfully, he's dramatic as hell, but he ain't told no lies. You spoke about my sis Kendra. It was harshly due to her. Okay. It's time to focus on you. Even though I'm not getting paid anymore, I'm gonna move forward. But right now, mentally, I gotta be there for me because it's not working. If you ever love that man once, you can love for a quick bite to eat with the legendary, iconic overall mother, Shannon Balenciaga. As I've told y'all before, I've thought about getting into ballroom. The House of Balenciaga had their big ball where she invited me to walk LSS, that's legend statements and stars. With me wanting to approach my entrance into ballroom with respect, I have to go to the best who's ever done it. Shannon, that is. Shannon, what's been going on? Oh my God, so much, so much, so much. We gonna get you to be a part of it? Yes, this, and this is why I brought you out here today because I wanted to catch up on the last time we sat down and talked months ago about me joining your house because I really want to be immersed in the ballroom scene and culture and I really want to learn. I want to become a student of it. Welcome to the course. Okay. I didn't start off when I was young. Okay. I was a full grown woman. I mean, she's a nice 27. It's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. 10 years, you'll be a legendary. Well, you know, I'm a creative, and there's like so many other things that I want to do. I'm starting like a freshman again and something. And it is uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. It's very uncomfortable, and it's, I am afraid. It's the judgment. Mm -hmm. It's harder than you think it is. It's certain elements that you have to master. You can have face on the street. But ballroom face is totally different. You gotta put in the work. Yeah. Shannon is giving me the rundown on how ballroom and scoring works. And while I am innately nervous out of just wanting to do a good job, I'm not afraid of being judged. Being a part of ballroom will allow me to tap into a level of my artistry, my identity and confidence that I've never had before. So chop me so I can come back and work harder and work harder and work harder till I come back ready for my tens for the win. Shana, what do you think I could walk? I think we should start you off with something light and easy, sneaker versus sneaker. I start out in sneaker versus sneaker, but what do you think I could go to? What do you like to do? I really like living in the in-between. The androgyny thing really makes me very excited. Ballroom is moving to a place where you have GNC, which is gender non-conforming. Okay. So they have gender non-conforming face, they have gender non-conforming um, fashion. Mm -hmm. I won't you to excel and be the best. If you don't win, I want you to be sitting there and be giving baby, but mama was turning it. Mm -hmm. That's all I care about. So at first I was really interested in Bazaar, which is a category Tonka actually is known for, where you dress up in these avant-garde, over-the-top costumes. And I was like, I don't know about that. Then I thought, well, maybe 
Shannon, why don't you try the MC category? And then now Shannon is talking about the sneaker versus sneaker. All of it is a lot. It's a lot to take in, but I'm pretty sure a well-talented, highly skilled individual as myself <laughs> will have no problem finding the category and showing up and doing what must be done. Do I get jumped in? Like, jump. We did not hasten. We did not hasten. What happens? Like, how do how do I do? I have to like do an application. I am the mother. You are overall mother. <laughs> you have to have a sponsor, which I will be sponsoring you. And I've never sponsored anybody before. Really? And I tell the people I will never sponsor anybody. I bring you to a meeting and we have an induction meeting. You tell them what you want to walk. What do you like about the house? What do you know about the house? As well as what do you see that you can bring to the house? Mm -hmm. I'm a nerd. I got to go study for this. You're going to study. It's going to be a learning. I'm still studying. Okay. I don't ever rest on what I did yesterday. It's what I'm doing now and what I'm doing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And that's what keeps me standing in the position that I am because I'm never going to rest on my name. Cause bitch, I ain't gonna let your young bitches beat me. <laughs> Hearing Shannon say she's never sponsored someone before, but is willing and open and wants to sponsor me to join the house is honestly an honor. This must be a sign from God. Thank you, Heaven. I appreciate it. I really do. I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I believe I am in Come good on. hands. Yes, I'm in good hands. <laughs> do you want to pray over the food? Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for blessing this food that has been prepared for us. Thank you for this meeting and these wonderful things that we're about to do. In Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. Amen. This salmon looks so good. I wonder if it's sockeye. This is sockeye. Well, I don't know. I'm allergic to seafood, but you keep that over there. It's the only fish I eat, though, okay? Oh. <laughs> here twice a month. In this particular brunch, we have my good, 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 good sister from RuPaul's Drag Race season 15, Malaysia, baby doll, baby doll, baby doll. And my ex-lover, Injuria Paris Van Michaels, here with us. I invited my good sister, Wilhelmina Modules, my neek neek, my brother, Tom Gunnell, and we were born out to watch my drag brunch. I figured, let me get them out, let's catch up. We were born inviting me to the studio and they showed me what they did successfully. So I wanted to show them what I do successfully. Because I'm a gracious human being and her mom is there, I'm gonna reserve my comments. I was raised that if you don't have nothing nice to say, you don't say nothing at all. But if I didn't hypothetically have something nice to say, it would definitely be that the hair is a little, it's a little underwhelming, but she's trying. My performance, T, I'm starting to feel more confident, so I feel like that's transferring into my performance. Granted, she was always confident. I feel like it just definitely kicked it up a lot more notches. I really appreciate all y'all coming out. Thank y'all so much. How did y'all enjoy it? It, it was, was amazing. amazing. It was fair. Thank you so much. How you get drag race girls? Well, you know, <laughs> it's this thing called the budget. Oh, period. <laughs> oh, yeah, the budget. Book, book me next week. We only book talent. They book you, though. And <laughs> I'll <laughs> you see. With Wussy Mag, I do have input with which girls I want to work with and which girls that I think would do well here in the city and what girls I think Atlanta will respond well with. These girls gagged over Malaysia, baby doll, baby doll, Fox, and our hometown hero, Andrea Pierce Van Michaels. They also filmed drama with Drew, so watch out. How did the sex party go? Oh, I didn't go. Me and Jay Twan was yeah, there. Yeah, me and, with the um, I, 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 I know it. You ain't go? 
No, baby. I sent my condolences. I did get a chance to meet um King Kane or whatever, and he was expressing to me that he had been maliciously maligned. Maliciously maligned. Maliciously maligned. A thousand times. A billion and one times. Cry tears, baby. Because I remember you calling me about after the candle making, y'all went to the sex store. Uh-huh, and she tried to say that y'all had maliciously attacked her. Yeah. Well, to be perfectly clear, he did have a few drinks, and I and I don't know him well, but I, I would hope that that was what was going on. Aww. So sometimes when I meet people, and I be a little taken back by their personalities, but I will honestly say that I don't know what the hell to make of these damn King Kang characters. He is very animated and he just really really silly or whatever but i don't know maybe that's my type of speed maybe he'll be a good friend or whatever with that type of energy get the group to get along or some shit. i don't know something because he's silly that boy is fucking silly if you were new to the group i feel like you should come in you know trying to get to know people and not come on the defense and it's crazy because he said that he was like i'm fresh but then y'all turned into fake ass bitches that's so i thought crazy he was gonna um, be picking out deal doors and sex toys but what's too tall i want to move forward from this but I, I do want to uh, say this. Some questions asked about the whole Wayne situation, y'all situation with Wayne. So I'm going to go ahead and put this out here. So y'all cool or what? Now, in my head, Wayne is family. Wayne is family. And so, you know, we beef. Just to give you a, a, a brief synopsis of what happened, Kendra was supposed to go to Houston with us. It was a private performance, but Kendra was the artist on the bill. Yes. It wasn't necessarily Wayne. Kendra was basically, I guess, extending her set to Wayne so that he could get his music out there. Long story short, there was some transphobia, craziness happening at the airport. They kicked Berlin off the plane. Yeah, because they thought it was dressed inappropriate. She was dressed inappropriate. So oh, yeah. story short, Wayne got his ass on a plane and left us. So basically yeah. like he did with Kendra at the cookout. Yeah, basically. Wayne, he just left. Um. Wayne just left. I'm singled out. I can't get on because of my attire. You're already on the plane. You call, we tell you what's going on. You're not even concerned. I'm just feeling really, really, really let down right now. And I'm not feeling like supported, not even a little bit, not even at all. That was kind of weird. I don't know. I just stay out of it because even after the whole incident with me and Wayne, the physical altercation, even with him posting that video with Kendra, I was like, I don't know if she got something to do with this. She, don't. You know. she didn't even know that she was posting until yeah. I saw her. To be honest, Wayne and I are not in a good space at this moment. When I'm trying to have a conversation with him, he kind of diverts or run off or he has a moment of drama. I just want to have an authentic conversation and it not be fueled in antics. So, I roll to Wayne. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hey, mama. Hi, ma. Y'all, this is my mom. That's Mama Lisa. I really do appreciate y'all. I'm going to miss y'all at the, at the pool party. I am going to be in Pensacola for um, Pensacola Pride. Books and busy, baby. Um, yeah. Can y'all please send me all the pictures in the world? Of course. Um, because I'm so sad that I just missed everything. Yeah. So, let's get out of here. Everybody. Yeah, see you later, Mama. Mm -hmm. Mwah. I've been through everything that I've been through so that I'll be able to speak the way that I need to speak. Well, I'm not gonna focus on shit for Barbie. That's it. Barbie, thank God! I was on one of the biggest stages that you can be on. I wanna be larger than life. I wanna be inspirational. Get on board or get the fuck out the way. Affecting and performing and like, there's just a full circle moment for me. Mother's Day. So today it is Mother's Day. My mammy is out in Texas. I gotta get to some business. So I'm meeting up with Jen Eliza, Jenny, to give her her flowers and to also get into the business. We finna link up, we finna have a kiki, and let's talk about how we're gonna get King K LLC from the bottom to the top. 
So Jeannie, so thank, first of all, thank you so much for taking this meeting with me. I know you're very busy with your son and your business and everything. Obviously, the wholesaling thing, I was on the website and they were like, oh, you need a business license. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I thought, you know, the LLC and the EIN was enough. I'm like, damn, I need a license too. So I was just trying to see like, what's my next step? So as far as your next level, we have your business structure already sold out. We got your um, Duns and Bradstreet number done, your LLC, your EIN, your business ad address, your email, your phone number. Our next step for you is getting that wholesaler's license. Okay. So we're going to need a seller's permit. So do I get a discount with that wholesale yes. number or something? So certain wholesale websites are going to give you wholesale prices versus individual prices. So yes, you'll get a discount on your items for your inventory. Okay, 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 okay. okay. How much that's going to cost? Well, how much is this? It just seemed like the goddamn tab was just rising, 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 rising. It's honestly a lot in this moment here and all of these different things that it comes to ha having a business because when I was styling, I only had DBAs, I didn't really have an LLC. But now that I'm so locked in mentally, physically, and spiritually with what the hell I got going on with King K LLC, it is a lot. I, I got my friend Oliver working on my logo. Yes. Is that something that I'm going to, do I need my logo to get all of this started? You don't need your logo to get everything started since we've already started the structure in the form. What I will say with your logo, I would suggest trademarking it. I did trademark woke. We only keep evolving. I tend to tell people to trademark things that are going to go far. You know, it's your value. It's your business. You're putting a lot into it. Yeah. So with your logo and with your business, I would suggest trademarking it. And we will take care of that on woke's end when you're ready. Well, maybe want to create the key. King Kane LLC brand is I need a household name. I need, you know, a name that people would remember. You know, some people may think it's tacky or look at it as if, you know, it's vain, but no. King Kane is who King Kane is. So just know that my adult toys, my passion parties are going to give that same King Kane energy that, you know, lots of people have grown to like and love. So I'm really passionate about this shit. Like, I'm not just doing this shit for a uh, Kiki in a moment. Like, this shit is going to be paying my bills soon come. Okay. Okay. And then opening the bank account. I don't have to go into the bank. Do no, I? No, no, no. We'll handle all of I that. I got anxiety yes. nowadays. No, you're fine. I go mean, anywhere. We'll sit down when we do your business license. We'll sit down and we'll go ahead and do your bank account all in one setting. You would not have to physically go to the bank. Oh. You could do it in the office. It's completely fine. Okay. So we can set that up. Yes. Don't come. Yes. Um, so I guess everything is pretty much done now that I have like the structure like you yes. mentioned. So the structure is lined up. So next is going to be us applying for the trade lines and the business credit. So that's going to be our next step. Once we secure your wholesale license and we get your business bank account, we'll move forward to the trade lines and the wholesale. We'll get you your net 30, your net 60, and we'll start you off with tier one. Yeah. Okay, so what's the trade line? I definitely feel like I learned from Jenny a lot today, but I learned from Jenny each and every day. Like, there's not a day that goes by where I'm not calling her, blowing up her phone, bitch, I need help, bitch. And she's always so patient because it is a lot and it is different. And I do want it to be a success. Even when I talk about my brain, I get emotional because it is something I'm passionate about. And it is something that I feel nowadays that I can take further than styling and fashion could have ever taken me. So I'm so excited for you. I am King Kane LLC. It's gonna blow up. We're extremely I'm proud so, of you. you no, know, I'm so, so passionate. Thank you so much. You have honestly been a godsend and just teaching thank me how you. to do shit the legit way. You feel me? So continue to push and we'll set up a meeting for next week. Yeah. So we're all set for you. Oh, well, hey, <laughs> cheers to the girls we King Kane. Here's I am King Kane LLC that way. Takanisha on the beat. Y'all ready for war on the floor? Category OTA room. Room, room, give me some room. Let a big bitch come through. Straight out the door, giving my scores. Tens across the board. It's run away, not run away. It's run away, not run away. It's run away, not run away. Now lace up your boots and slay. Child, y'all look. And in the studio, the girl got a call, an email, a text from DJJ Jones, just JJ Jones to be exact. And B, she asked me to be on this track. So I'm so excited. It's my first time ever. And it's dedicated to my category and ballroom runway. Yeah, let me go ahead and get my uh, headphones in and testicles one, two, testicles one, two. Okay. I am the mother of the runway, bitch. Now watch me, watch me move my hips. I am the ooh, I am the eye, I am the legend that ruled this bitch. Give it up for <laughs> 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 Bitch, hold on, wait a minute. First of all, that book is hot as fuck. But honey, 
thank you for the opportunity. Like, no shade. No, thank you. Like, when I when you asked me to um, be a part, I was just like, okay, woman, you just, I thought you were going to do the whole song. And I was just doing ad lib, me and two other people. I wanted to, like, tap into my Snooki and Kevin Icon, Kevin JC, uh, Prodigy, and like the Southern voice of Chazzy uh, West. Like, I wanted to, bitch, I want to do some more. You did that. <laughs> I'm so shocked because it was nothing like I anticipated. I met JJ Jones through his fiance King. You know, King, he uh, runs ATL. And he wanted me to do some commentary on the track. And I was like, I'm not a commentator. You know, my category is Big Boys Runway and the borrow scene. But, you know, I do love music and I do come from a musical background, you know, because a bitch can <laughs> sing. I was like, send me the beat. So he sent me the beat and I was like, oh bitch, I can walk to this, yes. I can't wait to turn it. I'm like, oh my God, I had the girls walk and run with to my song and perform it to it. Yeah, I'm ready. Hello? <laughs> Trap, girl. I'm a trap, girl. <laughs> I did not know what I was walking into. I thought it was a practice. Come to find out, I'm walking. This bitch is in the goddamn studio. He could have called me. We could have found some ways to go up some beats that wasn't under damn construction. But I'm here for it. Let's see what this beat is giving. Pack a cat, cat, cat. Bam. It's like Hennessy and Pookie up in here. <laughs> <laughs> like most of Hennessy, bitch. Oh, boy. Girl, okay, so what's the tea? What we do with it here? Bitch, he asked me to be a part of this runway track, and bitch, the dun da the, the Tonka Tonka, yeah. Um, Tonka Nisha was on the beat. <laughs> bitch, Tonka Nisha definitely <laughs> is on the motherfucker beat, no shade. So what's the tea? Girl, I feel like you got something to tell me. Okay, well, actually, I got questions. I was so confused. I'm saying, so you didn't go to this uh, toy party? I wasn't invited. You wasn't invited? I wasn't invited to candle making either. Well, you, you had fun with your candle. I did. I made two fresh candles, one named Troy Bay, and the other one called Strength of a Man. Strength of a Man? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just up a mountain. Oh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. We were born in. Wayne. Wayne. Mm -hmm. Are they friends? So that's but that's what I'm a little confused about. From when I was with with them, honestly, you know, like I said, it was my first time. I guess Wayne had made a comment about them producing Kendra's um, album and that they know nothing about anything about rap. So like, why would they produce Kendra's album? So I guess they took that and was kind of like saying something about his managing managing skills. I was kind of confused. Of course, on social media they hanging out and all that. Okay, because I thought I was the only one. Because I was like, I could have sworn so it that was the issue or y'all wasn't. I don't know. Baby, then Kane came in. So Wayne had a moment. He walked off for a second. So I almost go, you know, have a one on one with Wayne, talk mm -hmm. about some shit like it's time to level up type shit. Mm -hmm. Kane come in with these fake tears. They tried to malign me. And I was like, and I'm like, am I drunk? God be the glory, honey. Girl, I'm so sick of this bullshit. It don't make no sense. I'm so sick of sissies. I don't know what to do. Y'all, I'm just really trying to get to know Kane, and I hope he just, like, tone it down because I don't really want this to really get into his brand. And, you know, carrying on with this, like, child playground drama, like, come on now, we gotta step into the major leagues. Like, we got a bigger fish to fry. Like, we got shit to do you know me i it's kind of like get to the meat and potatoes what's what's the what's the root of the issue and how can we move forward or don't talk at all i ain't gonna lie we had a good time me and rico scissor we did scissor <laughs> as in doing a game or something <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. We did. It was the word. It was a game. They had a game. It was a joy demonstration. And next thing I know, he asked two volunteers and two bottoms raised their hand. And next thing I know, we were scissoring. I don't know what was going on. No. But anyway. You said two bottoms. <laughs> well, I'm glad you admit to your sexual position because you was a little confused. I'm sure you. I was not. I was experiencing both sides. Mm -hmm. And now I have determined. You know, I, like I said, I am a bottom with DOD. That's the new terminology that we're going to go with. And you said a bottom with who? With DOD. DOD. Dick on demand, which means I'll give you the dick if you want it. But if, if you're on demand, that I'm just about. Oh god. Bitch, I wanna do a uh, a shot toast. Okay, what what we shot toast then? Real ass bitch give a fuck by a nigga. Big burger bad whole five six. Like some ass well, on the clothes. Clothes. Was it ticket? Fucking on a skipper dance bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> bitch just Hennessy got me fired up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too cut for this.
So I wanted to meet up with Troy. He's actually one of the only people in this group that I actually have some type of rapport with. We used to be very close, so it's gonna be interesting just to catch up and just see if maybe we can rekindle our old friendship. Okay, so I got you, you know, I got you a little starter situation. Thank you, because... I love a sparkling water. So I asked you to come here today because I feel like, A, it's starting to feel a little bit like a couple years ago, we ain't be seeing you in bits, bits and pieces. Uh -huh. But you know, I just want to check on you and just see what's, what's you're giving. I've been working, honestly, I've been working. I just been like in a space to where I'm just really focusing and getting my life together. Like I have been working on my mental health as well because a couple years ago, um, Dominique introduced me to our therapist, which is our therapist and friend, Kirsten Twan. I interviewed him on my show last year too. So if you want to go watch that and just see what he's about, you know, well, talk about speaking of your show, child, well, let's yeah. talk about your show. So, back in 2018, a lot of people wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. But to be real, I feel like me and you were low-key the freaking fact before you and Dominique became freaking fact. I'm frack. screaming. Yeah, I'm not hating. I'm not, you know, throwing shade. And then the Talk Live Tuesday Live happened, mm -hmm. where producers, you were introducing the producers. One said that they would never ask us back. That was the question. Mm -hmm. You fell out into like laughter, slapping your leg. You was crying, laughing. Which cast and just can't come back? <laughs> you saw my all the season or they were mean to me. <laughs> That's just me. Like it's my show. Like the same thing happened with Dominique when me being on the group chat with Kendra, like I'm not there to be anyone. Wendy, when you, when you see Wendy and you see all these other people, yeah, they're gonna say that's their friend, but they're not there to spare anybody's feelings. They're there doing their job. I feel like it's unfair. I feel like you're, you're being unfair yeah. and you're being a little dismissive to my feelings. I don't know why I expected anything different. This lady said she thought we were the original freaking frat and she said she has pictures and things that we've done XX, Y and things together before. There's a little bit of delusion there. Like we were not the freaking frat, we never, we're out together 24 7. We never stayed on the phone all the time. So I don't know where this is coming from. Friendship isn't measured by what you say in front of somebody's face, it's what you say behind their back. I didn't say anything behind your but back. But you laugh at me. Okay. And if other people are saying this, maybe this is something you should look in. It sounds like a pattern. If you are working to be a better person, you should also work to be a better friend. Okay. And that's not friend, that's not how you be a friend. Low key, me and Troy used to hang out a lot. I used to go to his house, he used to come to my house, we used to travel together, we used to go to clubs together, we used to do hosting together, we used to do all types of stuff together. As soon as season three wrapped up, he just kind of left me for dead. At the end of the day, if we were gonna be friends, why can't we be friends in real life? I'm gonna tell you this, you've had my number, we could have reached out, we could have talked about this for four times. So, Omi um, would have been aggressive, Omi probably would have got up and walked away by now. If you weren't, back in the group or around the group, would you have even reached out before now? Yes. So then why didn't you do it before now? If if, if, if if that was something that was that important to you and how that made you feel, why not reach out before then and say, okay, well, when you did your show at this time, this made me feel away. We've seen and, each other several yeah. times. We did briefly talk about it, briefly. We were at a premiere, so we really couldn't talk about what we need to talk about. You may be able to let things go, but when something really bothers me because I really care about somebody, the shit really bothers me. At this point, I feel like the conversation is really just over for me. As you can see, I'm just like, I checked out. Like, I'm trying to still give him the energy, but it's just like, you're mad about something that happened years and years and years ago. And you're saying that I'm not trying to understand your feelings. I'm not trying to hear you while I'm trying to be little you, I'm not a great friend. It's just like, girl, it just, it is what it is. I can't worry about it. Troy is being dismissive to me in this moment because if you really wanted to forge a real friendship or to amend or to rehash or to revisit, your energy would be more welcoming, more understanding and not so slow. At the end of the day, I came to rehash things, but there's this weird inkling, this feeling in my stomach that it's a dead horse and she's been beat child. Although two things can be true. Mm -hmm. You can hurt somebody's feelings mm -hmm. and you can still be a good person. Right. Right. And I think you are a good person. Right. I want to be clear. I, I, I fucking love you. Did I genuinely fucking love you? Like mm -hmm. I genuinely care. And I'd rather say it to your face. Like nobody, nobody in the group knows about this conversation right. besides me. Mm -hmm. Going forward, you can stand up for a bitch. Yeah. You could be like, you know what? Jatorn is crazy, he's a hot mess, but he's a good person. During the conversation, when I first seen him, I was very excited to just be like, you know, let's see where this friendship can go. By the end of it, I kind of had the same feeling I had years ago. Girl, I'm glad that you're like, 
move to the side because this is something that I don't have time for. I feel like this honestly was just a waste of time and we could have had this conversation when we met up around the group or something. We gotta pay for these drinks if we don't walk up out the place. Okay, we don't walk out of the place. <laughs> but yeah. But it was good seeing you and good I love you. Good seeing you too, I love you too. Give me hugs, Cal. Just okay. pay for these drinks. And get the fuck up out of here. Get the fuck up out of here. Today I decided to hit up my boy Jay because we've just been out the loop. I know we've been around each other, but since last year we really haven't had a one-on-one -on -one moment. I just want to pick his brain because those do-rags we had on in that photo shoot, they went crazy on Instagram. So maybe we can collab on something and, you know, get to the money. Get off your phone. You done called me out here. What's the tea? Girl, where you been at? That's what the tea is. What you mean? Girl, you been MIA. You, I ain't seen you since the cookout. That's right. Yeah, that's right. The barbecue. Yeah. Bitch, I couldn't even order real tips without being triggered. But, I mean, I have to fall back. And some crazy shit happened since the barbecue. I'm sure you heard about it. You know we all heard. I just felt like if we can't be adults and sit down and have a decent adult conversation, I'm just not going to come around. So I had to fall back. And also, you know, I had my campaign that we had going on with the do-rags or whatever. City hall status, I saw you, city hall status. I did want to ask you, um, what you feel about a collection? I'll do the website, I'll do the graphics, I'll do everything. I can do it if I gotta handle no business aspect of it. Main reason why I can't handle no more business shit, because a bitch been booked busy and working. I gotta get a lot of stuff because I just signed a new contract yeah. with Sheen. So I will have oh my, my, God. Will have my collection will be J4 and Cheers. Cheers! So I'm gonna be real with y'all. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying life to the fullest right now, as you can see. Thighs out all summer. It is a little different. Like, I went from being in a house, about to get a house, living with somebody I was in love with, looking at engagement rings, all this other stuff, and now I'm sitting here and I'm single. I ain't gonna lie, it's a little bittersweet. I just wanna have a hot boy summer. I have never had a hot boy summer. I've always been tied down or working 24 seven in the studio. I, no, I want to enjoy life, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. So I will say that I had a conversation with Wayne. When did you see him? He was at the, the um, Kitty Cats Meow party, um, the toy party vibrations and all that. Okay, okay. That's what I definitely uh, skipped out on that because yeah, I know you. I'll be honest. Like I feel like that was way too soon for me to be around. And it's not that I want people to pick sides and do all this and that, but there's a lot of outside factors to this. Me and him had a one-on-one -on -one conversation in private. You sound like, like Rico. Rico said we had a one-on-one. -on -one. He been going through some stuff. He just want to talk to you. He just uh -uh. want to move forward. No. He just want to be your friend. Okay, like, let me tell. You. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I told him. Jumped on. Oh no, wait. Let me tell you exactly what I told him. You you gonna bring somebody to I said, Wayne, me and you was good if you brought me a dish, I would look at you sideways. You can't do that to somebody you don't like. I'm gonna be honest, I don't want y'all to be friends. If y'all go get y'all's nails done tomorrow, I'm gonna be like, that shit's fake as fuck. <laughs> at the end of the day, we need to get to a point in which we all can at least respect each other to be in a room and we need to have that conversation. It's been a couple weeks since the last time I seen Wayne. Everybody's wondering like, oh my God, how will they interact when they see each other? Hopefully we won't because I haven't seen him since it happened and it really hurt my feelings because at some point I looked at him as a brother. But after that, I'm paying him dust. I don't see him. I don't hear him. He's non-existent. Wayne apologized to me in the cabins. He was all excited to be back cool. And it's just like, I knew that that shit was fake because months later, here you are bringing up Ant and doing all this shit when we was last together. And it's like, what the fuck was that about if we supposed to be cool? Now child, I done told both of them at this point, y'all just need to move separate, cause I don't got it. One day y'all cool, next day y'all make up, then y'all fight, then y'all cool, then y'all make up, and they go back and forth. I don't know who's to blame, and I really don't care who's to blame, but at this point, I'm tired of it. It's giving a repeat after repeat. In fact, it's giving Y'all just got a flashback to see it, cause I done seen it several times. Y'all done seen it several times. We tired of it, I'm tired of it. I know they got to be tired of it. We ain't gotta be friends, we ain't gotta hold hands, we ain't gotta see who my guy. Bitch, we don't even have to go out to eat together. Cause we've been around each other for months at this point, it was and we really haven't years. collabed or worked together. I'm talking about as far as like this year, like us getting back together this year. It's like nobody has really worked together. Like everybody's so divided, everybody in their own world. I do want us to work together and do something for the community. Like I was facing homelessness at some point. So now I'm in a place where I'm out of that. I'm in a 
much better place and i want to give back if we pull up and do stuff like that there's no reason for us to be arguing about personal issues it's a bigger picture that's very true but we can't address the bigger picture until we hit just the smaller picture first you need to pass the message i don't want to have a conversation in front of the group with him Child, let me tell you that was the gag of all gags so tell me download me because me and that bitch used to be cool so i'm trying to figure out why are you in front of a group of people so i'm going to say my opinion based off me not knowing him okay literally wayne had got up and like walked out because he was really emotional about him and kendra so he was in there having like good conversation like positive conversation I'm, we, we have some deep conversation out of nowhere he come in there and he starts like fake crying but he's not crying he's like they tried to malign me and i'm like when it came to Kane, for one to back up because i know you wasn't at the candle making event nothing really happened other than us addressing an elephant that was in the room now troy was trying to find the kind words to deliver to him my thing was i just don't want it to be to a point where you feel like i got an issue with you where you gotta come around a group and start bad mouthing me because I've kept a lot of stuff he told me to myself, and it was stuff about the people currently in the group. Keep it very cute. <laughs> so word on the curb is there's a pool party that's going to happen very soon, and I'm very hesitant because I know Kane's going to be there. I don't want to talk to him in front of the group, but I do want to talk to him. Hopefully things go well. I'm trying to mend fences with Jay because we was on bad terms last year, but Kane is a wild card. So girl, I don't know what can happen. I don't know nothing about the dog's history. I will say that in that conversation, we all malign, you know. But my I, point I, I is, I can't maliciously malign anything to make you like a bad person if you're making your motherfucking self look like a bad person. He said none of us can't dress on his blog. He said all of us looked a mess at the reunion. He said all that. And it's like, now you in the same room with us. Like, that bitch that became a weirdo. And if she come at me with that bullshit, I'm going to tell her to her face, bitch, you're a weirdo, babe. Somebody going to get drowned at the pool party. <laughs> now listen, it's a pool party. I'm trying to be out, show off his little new little slim body of mine. I'm trying to have the bikini on, thighs out, ass. Like I told y'all, camera toe in the back, boot snuggle in the front. I ain't trying to deal with no damn drama. So listen, I just need everybody to go their separate ways. If you got an issue with Kane, leave Kane alone, leave Queen Kane alone. But I just want to go out and have fun. I'm trying to get wet, real wet. So see you at the pool party, babe. Why can't we all just get along? Come on, bitch. Get your bag, girl. Oh, my bag. back hey y'all what's going on it's me a y'all my pronouns are she her boss and i host a little podcast called girl damn podcast with me a on and i am back for season two recording live from my new home in houston texas my podcast can be heard on apple Podcasts, spotify and anywhere that podcasts can be heard i am taking you through pop culture and special topics in my personal life through a black trans queer and fat feminist lens so come on over come get you some and i hope to see you soon bye <laughs>
on a good old Sunday afternoon when it's high. I just arrived to the pool party, so I'm like, did somebody fight? They shut this bitch down early or what? The girls done scam all of out of fucking venue. Now, child, it take me damn near a year and two days to get ready. So I done got ready and lugged my ass all the way over here just to find out that we ain't finna splish and splash, bitch. So basically what happened is the person who was the only man, they booked the place through Pure Space. The person who owned the Pure Space or was renting the Pure Space it was in violation of whatever they got going on. Oh, yeah, like so oh, the oh, leasing oh. person was like, well, we don't do that here. Pure Space ain't all that. So now this is kind of dangerous. So, okay. so the party continues? Party continues. Yes, okay, cool. But they got people. They do have people. Okay. Oh, what are you saying? Oh, oh, that was easy. Jesus, that was so easy. Where the hell do uh, Oliver got us? I thought we were supposed to be at a luxurious, lovely, fabulous rooftop party, baby. This is a hood apartment party. See, this more my speed. This giving more college park. Washington Road. We went from the penthouse in Buckhead to Washington Road. I don't mind. Y'all know I'm ghetto, so I'm down for it. Now, who getting naked and who throwing and who in the pool? Because, baby, it's some cute. Girl, is that them people from that other show again? Girl, damn. Y'all everywhere. Well, I mean, might as well play with them. We in the hood now, baby. Girl, we somewhere out here. We in Cobb County. I don't I just mad there ain't no slide. Cause I wanted to show y'all how a big bitch go down the slide. Y'all serious, bitch? We can put a little plastic down. <laughs> Girl, they don't be like that Batman that broke the slide. So the first fly had said something about we were supposed to be at a rooftop party, but she we ended up at my cousin's house somewhere over here at the barbecue and shit with my nieces and nephews and things running around. But you know what? In the name of fellowship, I'm just here to have a good ass time. Wherever we at. Oliver, now what the hell you got up there, girl? Girl, this is your dress. This for the people got us. I don't got us nowhere. He got us in for free, that's all that matter. Hello, that's the key word. Baby, hey. Hey, baby, we get free drinks. Free drinks? Me too, yes. So what was your thoughts on location number two? Like the scenery and all Oh, it was stuff. dreadful. Location location two was dreadful. Like this isn't something that would require an exchange of currency to be admitted into. But that's not a conversation I can have with the promoter right now. He's running around like a chicken with his head cut off, feet too, beat, might as well, you know? So we here, everybody agreed to come. We gonna continue just to work it on out. Child, I'm feeling good, looking good, but as soon as I walk down these steps, bitch, my swim trunks fall apart. This ain't no free for all, and this ain't no flash show, but if you got $20, I feel like y'all owe me because my goodies are hanging out. Like, I am so embarrassed. What the fuck? So I'm arriving to the pool today. I look good, I feel good. I'm definitely not an insecure girl. That's why I only had on the bikini. I'm looking around, I'm looking at everybody, you know. You know, the girls have their BBLs and you know, some of the girls are, you know, a little bit more natural. It does feel like a bit of a separation. It's, 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 it's definitely giving something, but I'm, I'm not sure what. So today I wanted to be sexy. I have no intention on getting in the pool. And so yes, I wore thigh high boots to the party, and I looked fabulous while doing it. First off, my name is Christian. To those of y'all that don't know me, this was my first event in Atlanta, and I went through Peer Space, and in a sense got scammed, so last minute. My condo pool party. However, one of the other owners complained and they called um, Cobb County. Of course. So, the HOA president will be here in 10 minutes and there's no alcohol or um, marijuana. Ah, now I see. It's not really Oliver. It's this promoter he working with. So you know what, Oliver, you off the hook. I'ma leave you alone. But this man right here, 
he needs to get his shit together because, girl, I'd be damned if I buy a ticket and, girl, we're constantly moving around. At this point, I'm hungry, throwing the towel, I'm ready to go. Bitch, I'm ready, it's, you know, it's like, it's my bedtime at this point. The sun done baked me down and, bitch, I'm drenched down and I'm hungry. I'm so sorry, y'all, for all this that's happened today. She ain't know. I texted him like the day before. I was like, is everything okay? Is this the place that you rented? Is everything okay? We're not gonna get kicked out? No, we good, everything fine. Okay, cool. So, now we're here. Get your bag, get all your stuff together. DJ TV's gonna be right there. Now you know what, bitch, I'm starting to take this shit personal now. Somebody wanna fight. Cause we getting put out the second day. We getting put out my cousin's house. I'm gonna just go run a bath and just splash my ass around in the tub at this point because, yeah. This we party up with the I'm trying to tell you, girl. Girl, 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 girl,
the candle event. That's my opinion. But I thought you were oh, over. Oh, yeah, he did say that. I forgot. He did say he was over. Right. So, like, ask me about it. Well, Dominique, I was offended to my core. That you Don't would go back and tell. Yeah. See, here we go. No, 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 no. Y'all gonna walk it up, so we gonna talk about it. Let's talk about it. I was offended to my core that you would go back and tell Troy what I told you as a friend. And you well, didn't speak we, on when but, you dragged him. You, can't, yeah, I, you I dragged him. Troy for a field. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, babe. Scratch all that shit. Not want to talk to him in front of the group because he'll go get another bitch calling me out in front of the group. You see him say that your feelings hurt means nothing to me. I will be honest. I did nothing wrong. I have never said anything crazy about you. But the only thing I have an issue with is you telling my friends I called them trash. You said Troy was trash. Troy was the less than friendship. You said you were the reason Troy was the reason y'all were having. You were the reason y'all were having photo shoot. You said that basically if you call Troy right now, Troy would be like, oh, Neek, it's no problem. And you opened up about a lot of shit about you, Willa, Drew, and Troy. And for me, but you know how I we took did, it a certain you know type of way because for you, 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 you to go tell you, Troy, you, you like I was being was messy, but you didn't say right what you my said. Friends know me. My you real never friend, said my what you real said. friends know me, babe. You never my said. Real friends so I'm not your real friend? My thing is, I'm not your real friend. Clearly, we don't talk. The last time, only only time I heard you talk about me. But like I said, but to hear you talk about me. So we're not real friends. But the only time you came to this house is you've been here. Recently, what's the we Take the chase off. No, I'm tired of y'all telling me to take my chase off. So we're not real friends. So we're not real friends. That was last year. So we're not real friends. My God, today, my God, today, I'm over the girls talking about the same bullshit, trying to get a read in, trying to dig. I'm like, bitch, I came for here for a good time. We done went to two spots, now we in the third spot. Like, hello. I have done a lot of shit for you. And for you to come around the group and try and trash talk me, it's some bullshit. I didn't and I'm gonna let you know you. to your face with my face. I never trash talk you yes, to you nobody. Did. Yes, you did. Boom. Boom. Yes, you did. Boom. Yes, you did. 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 Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. When did I trash talk you, Nene? Nee? I, I, I love you. I would never do that to you. You took what I told you and told it to him. This is my friend. That's your friend. This is my friend. Okay, well, since we gonna do that, but we in the conversation. We heard that that. I wasn't the only person you brought up. Yeah. You brought up other people yeah. too, and who you Sam sleeping man. with, and who you doing this and that and the third. Like, girl, like, girl I tried to stay out of too much. much. I don't want to fuck. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, y'all got a fake friendship. Y'all trying to put it in the mix. At the end of the day, you can't no, no, give a no, fuck. No, you can't give a fuck. At the end of the day, y'all not really friends. At the end of the day, he read you. He read you. He read you, not me. I didn't read you. I didn't read you. I didn't read you. Your friend read you. I need you. I need you. Your friend you. Your friend you. Your friend Let's be clear. You girls were fans of mine. I've been here um, longer than any of you girls, okay? And when we're sitting there talking and Dominique lets me know that we're not friends, that's really all I needed to know. Yeah, we haven't talked, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis and, and things like that, but we were building something. You invited me over to your home. We caught up. You know, you talked about you and Anthony and all of that that happened. And I'll let you know a few holes on the head. And I don't like the fact that he's trying to, like, downplay or act like we weren't cool or act like it wasn't a mutual, messy conversation when that's what it was. Like, pure. You don't give a Energy. Energy. We don't want you here. Energy. No, no, no. Say, you gotta give that whole same energy to you. So guess what? He don't want you here. Go where you going. And mess up and Pipe down a little bit, cause I'm not what you used to, and I could really go there with you, but bitch, I'm not. And then he walks out trying to pull a Kenya Moore moment as if he's twirling the way, but baby, keep twirling, cause none of the girls up here want you anyway. You're really an extra. Them bitches got a fake first chip and trying to go. We gotta go there. We don't want you here. We don't need you here. It's gonna pop it right out of the time. I'm out. Y'all got it. I'm out. Excuse me. Y'all got it. Because them y'all friends anyway. So go on over there. What? No, for real, I look like I'm so sick of the bullshit. I've been bitching storylines for years. Child, after I done got my 
mind back together and like, okay, let me get back in this group. And, and you know, Kane walking away and stuff. I'm just like, okay, well, since I'm getting to know Kane, let me just follow behind him and try to calm him down. Child, next thing you know, he yells out, go there with your fake friends, Tonk. And I'm like, fake friends? At this point, I'm still here trying to calm your ass down. And you want to see his turn on me? At this point, it was all best. Baby, I done had to jack that nigga up and let him know who I was. Like, don't play with me. Let's like just leave their friendship alone. Like, they, I'm tired. They, they not my friends, huh? My, you know, you know who my friends are. They not my friends. All right. Okay. All right. I, I'm not. I'm not trying here to show out, but don't try me. Okay. Okay. You need to calm the fuck down and put your fucking crown back on. Okay. Calm the fuck okay. down. I'm the fuck down. I'm the wrong motherfucking bitch. Next time on Chasing Atlanta. I won't be kicking with no lame ass bitch who's boring. The fans have said they were boring for years. Girl, I done jacked that man up at the BF pool party, sir. King Kang. Girl, yes. What do you think we can do to like bring everybody together and. You know what, bitch? I'm tired of bringing these hoes together. I ain't gonna I'm in the same space. The winner is for Drag Artist of the Year.